Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be making bowl cozies. It's a great little quick project. Pretty fun to make. I hope everybody's Saturday night's going great. Uh, so what you're going to need to make these your materials, you are going to need two pieces of fabric, uh, 10 by 10. You can either do a contrasting one or mine are just the same for each side. Your choice. You are also going to need two pieces of batting. These are going to be cut at nine by nine. There's different kinds of batting you can use. I use a batting called Wrap and Zap. This stuff is good because it can go right in the microwave. It's not going to melt. It's not going to mess up. It's not going to burn up. So you can go ahead and put your bowl cozy right in the microwave without worrying about it having any issues. I also use 100% cotton yarn. Um, you want to make sure that your 10 by 10 piece is cotton so it can go in the microwave. All right, let's get started. What you're going to do for your first step is you're going to take one of your 10 by 10s and you're going to lay it wrong side up and you're going to put your batting right in the middle. You're going to have some on the edges. This will help you for sew. Help you later on when we sew them together for the edges. So after you get this step done, you're going to go to your sewing machine and you're going to sew from one corner to the other corner. And then you're going to go from this corner to this corner. And you're going to do that on both sets then you're going to go ahead and do this one here and you're going to sew this one too from corner to corner to corner to corner. I'm going to go ahead and sew and be right back. All right, we are back. So after you sew your X's and your squares, this is what you're going to look like. You're going to have an X on one and then an X on two. <clears throat> now your next step you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of these 10 by 10 squares and you're gonna fold it in half. And then I always line mine up on my grid. So you're gonna want the folded side down with the edge up and you're gonna go ahead and get your ruler. And what you are gonna do is you are going to mark one inch up the folded side up here that, that doesn't have the bend and then two inches here. So we got one inch two inch and you are going to mark this and you are going to do the same to the other side so one inch up and two inches over you're going to do this to both of your squares So one inch up and two inches over, and you're going to mark it. I 
and after you have it marked, we are going to go ahead and sew. Just sew right on this line. So I'm going to sew and I'll be right back. Alright, so we got those sewn. So you should look like something like this. Now the next step you're going to do is you are going to fold them like this. And then you are going to do the same thing. You're going to mark one inch up and two inch down. On both sides. And the same one to the other side. Make sure everything's lined up. One inch up and two inches down. Or another way to think of it is one inch up the open side two inches down the close side. And then you're gonna go ahead and sew on your lines. Let me sew and I'll be right back. All right, we are back with our sewing of the corners. So now the next step is you are going to cut right along your line to cut off the bulk because we don't want the bulk. Do it on all four that you just did. And do it to the other, your other 10 by 10 square too. All right. So we're in the home stretch now. So we have the starting of our bowl. You can see the shape has already started. <clears throat> now to put these together, you're going to want right sides together. So you're going to want your batting part on the outside. So you got one like that. And you want to pop this one so the batting is out. And we are going to put them together. Just like that. Now we're going to pin. Now, some people don't pin these. I pin mine because if I don't, I will end up with a mess. Now, you're going to make sure that when you're aligning it, you're aligning this part, not this part. Because if you do the part in the bottom, it will come out uneven. So, you're going to make sure you're lining up the edges of your fabric together. I always make sure my seam in the middle is aligned. Pin in the batting. You can push this down.
All righty. Now that we have it pinned, we're gonna go to our sewing machine and we're gonna sew the edges. <coughs> You're gonna sew all the way around, quarter inch inseam. And you're going to leave a section about two inches so we can turn this inside out. All right, let me sew and I'll be right back. All right, so we are back. Sewed all the way around. So make sure you take your pins out. Make sure you get all of them out. And the next step we are going to do is we are going to flip it. Another quick tip, when you are sewing this around, when you come to the little divot here, when you do your near sewing machine, make sure you are pivoting on these little corners here, on these little divots where we sewed. That way you get the bowl shape. I sewed my hole a little smaller than I should have, but we'll make it work. So we're going to flip, flip, flip. I do my little slit about two inches so I can flip. Okay, so once we have it flipped inside out, okay, that is cute. I like that fabric. All right, so you're gonna take your stick, I always use just a chopstick to push up my corners. Every time I go to the Chinese restaurant, I always take a pair of chopsticks so we can use them for this. They work out great. All right, so we've got our corners flipped, pushed through. One last step. Make sure you get the inside corners here, just like that. So the final step you would do would be to do a top stitch around the top. And then your finished product will look like this with a nice top stitch. Thank you for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. Any questions, feel free to ask. Anything you want me to do, please ask. <coughs> I'll try to find a pattern and we'll get you a tutorial. I hope you have a wonderful evening and have a great night. Thank you.